What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. So yesterday, for those who did not catch the video that I posted, I talked about a sneaker that I've been looking for for a long time after I sold it, but members of the Army, they contacted me and I wind up getting that shoe. So watch the video, because I definitely had a couple members of the Army hit me up, ask me did I still need them. Army, I got them, thank you. Now with that being said, since the Army was so loving and so willing to help me get this sneaker, it's still a couple more that I'm looking for. So if you got a size 11 or 11 and a half in the Air Jordan 4 Union, the Taupe Haze, hit me up. I still need the Taupe Haze pair, the Desert Moss. I'm good on those. Now this one may be very far-fetched right now, but I'm still looking for a pair of Air Jordan 1 High OG Travis Scott frags. If y'all know somebody who got them off Travis Scott website, let me know. If not, if y'all know a store that got a pair, please point me into that direction. I'm looking for a size 11 or 11 and a half in those as well. But best believe with that shoe, I will do my due diligence to make sure it's okay. And if I feel that it's not, we got SneakerCon Chicago this week and I will be in the building for one of those days. So if anything, I'll probably just try to find those there. And it's a couple other sneakers that I'm looking for, but I'll hold off and wait on those. Now, this box right here is not what the video is about, but I just got this delivered. And this box right here is from Nike. Now, here's the thing. This is like the first time I've seen a Nike box with literally, hold on, let me take this off. Now, this is the first time I've received this one. Now, we generally have the Just Steal It tape, or we got the one that is closed up top, but it's real flimsy down here at the bottom. And you know, people can easily look in and check these out. Now, I think because now, this honestly could be a reach. I could be reaching for the skies with this, but I'm sure Nike heard of all of the issues with FedEx. Yes, this box was delivered by a FedEx driver. Also on top of that, we just got another shipment in or they just did the exclusive access of the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott's and they don't want what happened a few weeks ago to happen again. So what did Nike do? They probably got on a call like, we need boxes with no just still tape and we need boxes where they cannot peek in. Now, of course, they can still look at the label and see if it's from Nike. Now, since the rumors of the driver still in packages, Travis Scott's coming up missing, Off-White's coming up missing, I feel like Nike acted quick with this one right here. They acted as smooth as Michael Jackson in the Smooth Criminal video and they gave us these type of boxes. So, do I think what happened with the whole FedEx stuff you know, packages coming up missing. Do I think that plays in effect? I 100% do think that plays in effect. And what I have in this box right here, and surprisingly, this ain't even no heat. Remember I told y'all that I had got two pairs of the, what the Prestos. This is the XL pair. This is a size, what, 12 through 13. So, yeah, I didn't know what size to get, so I wound up buying two of them. If somebody want these for what I paid retail, just hit me up. I was trying to give y'all an update on What's going on with all these releases? A few days back, I did let y'all know that the Air Jordan 1 patent leather bread joints are getting pushed back to December 30th. So that's a two month difference that we are seeing with those. Now, I didn't mention the other sneakers that y'all probably are not sure that either got pushed up or pushed back. Now, if you're like myself today and your Foot Locker Foot Action Champs and Kids Foot Locker app was going bananas today, that is because they pushed back the Air Jordan 5 Moonlight, AKA the Oreos, AKA Jordan brand. We didn't ask for them joints anyway. I'm still gonna be on there until this shoe release. I don't know why they decided to drop these again. In which I think I'm gonna do a TikTok on there right quick. So make sure y'all following me on TikTok as well. So they pushed back the Air Jordan 5 Oreos to September 25th. Then they also pushed back the Air Jordan five shattered backboards to early October. So what's the new day for the shattered backboards? I'm not sure, but we got another nice Air Jordan that's supposed to be dropping early October, which is the Air Jordan 4 Red Thunders. Now, no news has come up as far as whether the Red Thunders are gonna get pushed back, but if these shattered backboard Jordan 5s are getting pushed back to early October, in which the Air Jordan 4 Red Thunders was supposed to be for early October. Maybe that shoe is going to get pushed back maybe a week or so as well. And it's so crazy because October I had some fire, fire, fire merch for y'all. Now we got to get pushed back to December. But 
I just came up with another fire idea and I still will be dropping some new merch for the month of October, y'all. So just wait for it. Now I just went over to another post from Z Sneakerhead. That's where I'm getting all of this information from. He has the Air Jordan 4 Red Thunders for October 2nd. But the Air Jordan 3 Pine Green situations got pushed up to October 30th. I want to say those were supposed to drop in maybe in November, but I do remember hearing that that release did get pushed up. So we do have a Retro 3 and a Retro 4 and a Retro 5 dropping next month. A lot of people have been mentioning the Air Jordan 3 Pine Green situations as a sneaker that they are interested in. So it's going to be dope to see exactly how that shoe releases. I haven't heard much about these Air Jordan 1 prototypes, whether or not those are getting pushed back or pushed up. I'm not interested in those, especially them being vote approved. Not a fan of them joints at all. Now, since we are not getting a pair of Air Jordans dropping this weekend, we still got the Air Jordan 11 low IE brands that will be dropping. Now, that is an OG, and I feel like a lot of people will actually be going for those. I feel like those are going to do better than most of the IEs that have dropped and some of the regular Air Jordan 11 lows that's dropped. Now, I want to say these joints were supposed to drop at the end of October. You got the Air Jordan 12 royalties that have also been pushed back to November 12th. Now, unlike most people, I actually like these. 100, 100, 100 percent swap these black laces out for white laces, and you basically got a pair of taxis with gold accent. To me, these are nice. I really like these. I think that these will be a hot seller. We already know Air Jordan 12 sale, but again, you get these joints some white laces, and I can guarantee you, I'm pretty sure I have not seen any of these pairs or anything, but I can guarantee that 9 out of 10, actually it is Nike, so I don't want to say guarantee, but I'm pretty sure that these joints will probably come with a spare pair of white laces, which is so weird, they should have just gave us white laces in the shoe and gave us a spare pair of black laces, but nonetheless, I'm actually looking forward to this release right here. I love how it gives you that spin on the Air Jordan taxis. Now, I will say a lot of people will still be upset about this shoe because they are still waiting to get the original Air Jordan 12 taxi, in which we haven't gotten since 2013. As of right now, we haven't heard of any pushbacks as far as the Air Jordan 6 Midnight Navy, in which those are supposed to be the Black Friday shoe, but now that 10 is gonna come out that following day, that Saturday. We haven't heard of any pushbacks regarding those, and we haven't heard of any pushbacks regarding the Air Jordan 11 Cool Grays. I highly doubt the Cool Grays get touched. That's the money maker. Nike will probably fly over to China, Taiwan, Vietnam, wherever these joints getting made at. They probably will fly over there themselves, pack them up, put them on a private jet, and hand deliver these joints out before they lose out on any money regarding these Air Jordan 11. So. I'm sure that the cool grades are going to keep its original date. The Army, let me know if you have been receiving this new box. I'm not sure if this is 100% new. We know how sometimes Nike will give us this box, and then two days later we order something, and then we get an adjust steal it tape again. So as of right now, I cannot say that this is universal. I cannot say that this is 100% going to be the new way Nike delivering shoes, but if this is the new way right now, I'm liking it. So y'all let me know if y'all have received this new box as well. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. Unbreakable Army stand strong like always. And like the merch says, hug your loved ones. And we out.